Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. On today's episode, we speak to a woman named Margarita from Sweden. Margarita reached out to us to uncover her four-year online relationship with a man named Jeff. Jeff reached out to her on Instagram and they began to chat every day. Margarita is now suspicious that Jeff might not be who he claims to be after sending him over $80,000. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. I'm a Filipina woman. I live in Sweden. I have three children. I'm working as a nurse. I'm depressed. I'm stressed. I cannot sleep. I cannot eat because what's happened to me in the past couple of four years since I met this guy. His name is Jeff Winsister, and he find me in Instagram, and we begin to talk. The first message he sent to me in Instagram, you are so pretty woman, I like your face, or you are so sweet, and I fall in love with him, because he so kind of me because I lost my husband. I lost him for six years ago. He sent me message. We talking all night, half day. Sometimes I cannot concentrate my work because I need time for him. Send me heart, kisses, hug, and everything. Always honey. And you know what the most I really love him? You always call me Margarita Win sister because I'm gonna be his wife. I'm so stupid to believe him. I love him so much. Months after months comes. I think it's one and a half year we've been talking in Instagram before he asking me to move to hang out and there began asking me for money because he told me he going to Turkey and he gonna deliver the oil because he's working in the oil company and he need money to release the oil to the Turkish government. And he asking me first 10,000 euro and I asked him what you gonna do with that 10,000 euro? And he tried to explain to me to pay to the custom and after that, I said, why you don't have any money in your pocket? Because you are a businessman. And he told me he cannot access his money because he is not there in, New in California. He is in Turkey. And after that, I said, OK, I will borrow you for 10,000 euro. They tried to call me and push me to borrow money again. Until I sent him all in all for 82,000 euro. And after two years, he was disappeared on watch up and hung out. I tried to reach him, but I cannot do anything because I'm so depressed, I'm so stressed, I'm working hard. I lost contact with my children because of him. And suddenly, I find him in Facebook and he sent me a request on Facebook and he told me, can we go back to Hangout? And I said, OK, we can go back to Hangout. What do you want now from me? And he said, nothing. I just only want to hear your voice. He told me he really miss me. And I just only tell him, I think you are lying. He asking me again for 15,000 euro. And I said, what the fuck? You just only contact me because you need money. You need my help. Fucking scammer. I really, uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, say this, you know. I really hit them badly. And I said to him, I swear to God, if I find you, I'm going to. Punish you. I'm going to put you in jail so you know what you do, what you done wrong. 
I, I tell him I don't want to cry anymore because I was crying for four years. I thought I find the man to live with me the rest of my life, but you use me badly. Just only today I got three requests in my Facebook account and I don't know who the fuck they are. I said, leave me alone. A lot of guy here in Sweden really want to be with me, but I dumped them because of him. I tried to take my own life twice, but my best friend, he tried to call me that one night and I don't answer the phone. I said, directly call the police. The police come to my apartment and broke everything. And they find me in the bed. It's twice I take my, try to take my own life. My children doesn't know that 1.5 million pounds I sent to him. I need to pay my rent. I need to pay my bills. I need to pay my electricity. I need to pay almost everything here in Sweden. You need to pay. And now I can just only live with the existence minimum. Existence minimum, it's only $500 I'm going to live every month. So Catfish, I really want you to help me to find out everything about this man or about this guy. I want closure from him. And I really want to know where he is now. After receiving this video, we immediately got to work. Our search specialist, Lenny, started to investigate more on this mystery man who claims his name was Jeff. But a couple of days later, we received another email from Margarita informing us about her current relationship with another man she met online who claimed his name was Frank Jeffrey Peterson. He even provided an identification and sent her several pictures. Let's see what our search specialist Lenny can dig up on both of these men. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get back into it. Today I'm gonna to go through some of the documentation that Margarita provided for us. First thing we have here is a driver's license. First name, Frank Jeffrey Peterson. First thing I noticed right away is that this signature is backwards. Everyone everywhere knows that when they sign their name, they sign it exactly as it's written. They always sign their first name followed by their last name, legal documents, checks. Second thing I see here is he has an address, 2564 24th Stress. That sounds odd, and it's in Olive, California. One of the important things that we see when we have a driver's license is the photo. That's you. That's a great picture. And then you move on. We don't look at all of these things when we see a driver's license. So in this case, what I'm going to do, this, these other documents that I want to look at are wires that Margarita made. And this is on Swede Bank, so these are Swedish forms. But here we see that this Kelvin person is in Istanbul. We have one for Kelvin. Uh, here's one for Kennedy. And we have two more for Kennedy. So all of these are wires. The bad news is when wires send money overseas, they are untraceable. There are privacy laws, there's government rules, there are international barriers. Wires cannot be reversed. That said, she can, with the assistance of her bank, work with the other bank and call these suspicious accounts. That might do a little bit of good so that these people can't keep moving money through their accounts. What we know about money laundering is that these people, while they're real people, most likely they're far away from the head of this snake of a scam. Now that Lenny has done her research, it's time to meet with Margarita for the first time. <laughs> How are you doing? 
I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. I really am. So the first thing I want to talk about is the money that you sent to Istanbul. Can you tell me um, wh what was what was this money for? You have a little a little problem with the oil because the custom cannot release the oil if he don't pay the the tax. That's why he asking me to borrow money, but he promised to me he going to pay back when everything is going well. Um, you were doing due diligence. You were trying to make sure that everything was on the level. Yeah, okay. I tried. I've got um, four transfers here. One is from Kelvin and two are from Kennedy. Who, who yeah. are these people supposed to be that live in Istanbul? Yeah, the people I seen the money. This uh, Jeff told me that first the people it's working together with him. Okay, so they're colleagues? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let me tell you a little about this money then, okay? Um, one of the techniques that a scammer will use is they will move money to foreign accounts. Once it goes, it's not recoverable. We can't verify who these people are, and one of the things that works in favor of a scammer is that their government laws there are privacy laws that are all ruled over international lines. So we, d we can't get a database. We can't find out who these people are, but we can assume that they are real. That's a good sign because they are real. Well, they're real, but they've taken your money and your money is not going to come back. These are called money mules. I'm sure you've heard of that before. And a lot of times what they do is, I'm assuming that this Kelvin and this Kennedy have accounts, and maybe those accounts don't even exist today. They move quickly, they have a real account, they get the money, the money moves on, and I can pretty much confidently tell you that this money exchanging is very far away from the real guy at the top of this scam. You sent us two different guys, yeah, right? yeah. We looked into both of them for you. The one that took the 80K from you and put into foreign accounts, we have a picture of him sitting in front of Rhode Island Commerce Corporation. Then when I look at his driver's license, he is saying that he's a male, he has black hair, blue eyes, and his height is five foot, 12 inches. The DMV does not put 12 inches. I just ran that photo on the, D, on the driver's license. I just cut it out, um, easy to do, and I ran it through an Emmy search, and I found the real man who owns that photo. Um, his name is Mark Streisand. He's a fashion designer. And once I know his name, I just Google it. He's everywhere. It's very full of proof that it is not the person that you've been talking to, and this photo is stolen. Mr. Streisand doesn't have anything whatsoever to do with this relationship. His, his photo is stolen. So the money went, it went to strangers, and this is a scam. This person is not who he says he was. So the second guy is the one that took the 80,000, correct? Yeah. He has the hard hat on. You sent me the picture with the two men with the hard hat. Okay, yeah. um, we also found out who that guy is. He went by Jeff Winchester. I ran the photo of the guy on the left. I found the real guy's name. Um, his name is Gareth Wood. He is a restaurant and bar entrepreneur here in the United States. He is also a founder of charity that helps kids who need surgery all over the world. He's a very visual person that we can find just by looking at his name now that we know it. So Gareth Wood is that man on the left. He is not Jeff. I also found the guy on the right who claims to be Kennedy. It, the two of them are together. It's on his Twitter page. They're wearing the same clothes that you have. This is where the scammer probably stole this photo. So it's not Jeff and it's not Kennedy, but when you have real people, once you figure out who they are, you can find out all kinds of stuff about them. They're real. They do not exist. The $80,000 that you sent is not recoverable. It's a scam.
Yeah, it's 80,000 euro. The man you're talking to now, you've got to block this guy. Um, you walk away, no explanation. Maybe you've already figured out that once you try walking away, they start talking to you mean, they get mean, they, they say, uh, you're, you're not worthy of things. They make you feel less and they make them look like the victim and you don't need that. So yeah. um, the guy that you're talking to is also 100% fake. There's a good chance that he is the same person that scammed you the first time because a lot of times we know what they do is they learn what works with the first one and then they emerge doing a second profile that is also yeah. fake. And so they know you by then and they, use, they know your buttons, they know what works, but the fact remains, it's still a scammer. You don't know anything about him. Do not continue with this relationship. When you are new to online dating, that is when they get you the most because it's your first time. You may have heard of romance scammers, but, yeah. but, but you're a good person. And when you go there and someone is being honest or someone yeah. is appealing to things that are you're going on in your life that likes what you like, that might have something hurting their heart the same as you, those kind of things, you can't blame yourself for too long, Margarita, because these are your qualities that are yours and they're not a fault and they've used them against you. Yeah, I just thinking that today no one can take me down because now I try to I try to big my my life again because I lose my children. I never have contact my children now for almost six months. Because because of the money? Yeah. Because everything. But I'm glad because I'm not ashamed to to tell my friends I've been scammed. They know everything in my work. I've been scammed. Even my boss, everybody. And I know also I've been taking my life twice because of the money, because I, I, I've been through hell. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat, I cannot concentrate my work. I just only crying and crying and crying. But moving on is pretty hard. When you, yeah. need, you needed something in your life at that point and that's what compelled you to go online. Yeah, supposed to be I don't meet them, these uh, guys in a dating site. They find me in Instagram. All those guys have been using me for money. They find me in Instagram. Okay, here's a tip for you. <laughs> If you don't know them, if they engage with you on Instagram, from here on out, just don't answer them. Because you are, you are on a list. The first guy got you, the second guy got you, and it may be the same guy. We know they work in networks, all of that, but they have your Instagram page. Even if a person gives a scammer $1, they will not give up until they have. So when I hang up, I'm gonna send you links for reporting. I have a list of them, I'm going to send them and those are good possibilities for you. And then I'm going to send you the link to join our private Facebook discussion group, SCF Seekers is what it's called. I hope to see you there because I'm really impressed with what you've learned. I'm really impressed with what you know. There's more to learn and more to teach. Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below, please email us at sharemystory at socialcatfish.com. We'll get to the bottom of it with help from our Social Catfish team. By sharing your story with our YouTube audience, we can educate, spread awareness, and maybe someday we can put an end to these scams.